So we're on the initial test drive of this Jeep, and this Jeep is as bland and cookie cutter um, as you can get. And the reason we're doing a video on it is because it really kind of shows the uh, process or steps you go through to get an awesome Jeep. So this is a six cylinder, three, six, eight speed. Um, you know, we're up to 80 miles an hour already. The thing just rips and it's no steering wheel shake, dead straight down the freeway. A um, little bit of wind noise from the hard top, but zero tire noise. Um, this is a complete sleeper. So it kind of shows the processes of how you can build your Jeep, have the best parts, but still be on a budget and work on your budget. Um, there's no front bumper done on this. It has the plastic front bumper, the plastic rear bumper. It is a Rubicon Model JL 2023. Um, stock gears, stock drive lines. Um, he has aspirations of building the whole Jeep completely up, but the question is, what do you do first? And I think that this customer did the correct thing first, and that is the suspension. So this Jeep has our long arm kit on it, the WFO JL long arm kit, um, has three and a half inch coils on it, and these happen to be the Metal Cloak dual rate coils. You know, we, we put all different uh, brands and versions of coils with our kit, depending on what the customer is gonna do. Um, this is a little one lane windy road right here with all kinds of potholes. And here we are, I'm gonna rip up this thing. So this thing is literally like a sports car. No body roll, um, shocks just rip up the potholes. Turn around here, but I mean, 37 inch tires lifted probably handles and drives better than it did stock with the suspension geometry of the arms, um, <clears throat> the way it has the Duraflex joints in the arms. And this happens to have the Rock Sport shocks, which are an entry level shock, but tuned and working perfect for a JL. So this Jeep uh, with just a long arm kit is ready to go out on the trail. And I forgot to tell you, um, steel wheels which are super affordable just over a hundred dollars and the 37 inch bfg km3s now the nice thing about the km3s is um they're not a true 37 which you know some people might complain about but being a little bit undersized they work great with stock fenders stock inner fender wells um they really run true and the way the tread pattern is designed they're good for snow, mud, daily driving, everything else. Um, and then the steel wheels are just classic and easy. Um, still be able to air your tires down to 12 pounds, 10 pounds, and they're not gonna come off the rim. Um, he didn't even do a rear bumper and swinging tire rack yet. Uh, so it has the stock spare on the back of the Jeep, uh, which could get you out in a pinch. But uh, just showing people that you can do it in stages, and we believe that upgrading the arms, the suspension, you know, tires and wheels part of the Jeep is the very first thing that's gonna get you to go out on the trail, rock crawling, four wheeling, still drive good, um, the first stage of the build. And then you can always add a bumper, add a winch, add rock sliders, add fenders. Those things can come all cart, but the suspension has to be done in one shot. So, uh, instead of doing a short arm or piecing that together, by going all in with the long arm, um, you're not gonna be disappointed. You are gonna be smiling from ear to ear when you drive your vehicle. And I believe that's the first step of what to do on building your Jeep. Um, so being that this thing has no bling, doesn't look fancy, you know, probably the, the, the least upfitted Jeep out there, um, but still 100% capable drives awesome and no corners have been cut uh i mean at this point you could add one ton axles you could add um bypass shocks bigger shocks um heavy duty tie rod uh the front drive line hasn't even been done um and it's in there with the long arm we did have to outboard the shock mounts on the axle because no matter what any lift kit company tells you if you get good suspension articulation 
your shocks are going to rub on the frame. It's going to bend the shock shaft, it's going to destroy the shafts. So this has our long arm, outboard shock relocation, uh, it does have the track bar brace on it, um, and it's got a taser just to get the speedometer correct, but simple, now ready for anything else to add to it in the future. And I do want to, one other thing I want to put in is it has our upgraded track bars as well. So our WFO track bars front and rear with the chromoly uniball in it and with basically an FK heim in each end gives it no movement side to side, which will be the best chance of not getting death wobble. So the customer is on the top of the list with suspension, with geometry, um, and will never look back no matter what he does to the Jeep from here on out. This is the perfect sleeper and the perfect start to your JL build.